Okay, welcome back to part two. Check out part one if you haven't yet. I'll put it in the description. By the end of this, I want to have two camera functions implemented. So first, we're going to be able to do a drag. So I want to be able to grab the map and move it around, just like you see there. And then also, I want to be able to zoom in and out. So let's start with a new object. I'm going to just call it display manager. I'm going to use that to control all of our camera logic and anything else that we want to do to the window or display. Drop that into the room as usual and then add in a step event for it. Let's think about what we're trying to do with the drag first. So if you look at this Google Maps video again and think about what it's actually doing. So if you imagine that there's a camera floating over this map, when we click and drag it in one direction, that camera, that virtual camera floating above the map is going in the opposite direction. So as we drag to the right, the camera moves to the left and vice versa. So let's just start with dealing with the mouse clicks. So first I'm going to use a mouse button, mouse check button pressed to get when the button is initially clicked. We'll use that to set our anchor. And then I'm going to use a mouse check button to see if the button is continuously held down. Let's talk a little bit more about what this virtual camera actually looks like. So, so in Game Maker, we have a room, which is essentially like our giant sandbox. We can build whatever we want inside of that room. The room can be huge. It can be much, much larger than the window. So if we imagine the room laid flat, there's a built-in camera that you can imagine is just floating above the room at all times. We don't need to create this or do anything. It just exists there with every new project. What the camera sees is called the view. The view has a few properties that are useful. So it has coordinates and then it has a width and a height. Those control how big the view is, which is gonna represent how zoomed in or out it is. And then the coordinate is gonna represent which part of our room we're showing to the user. So essentially, if we want to do a drag, we're really just moving that view around. We're just moving the XY coordinates of it. So if we run the game again, you can imagine that as we click, sets that anchor point, we drag it to the left, we wanna move our view over to the right, and then vice versa, move the mouse to the right. We want that view, that camera, to actually float the opposite direction. So let's start with just the anchor point. Fairly straightforward. So on our mouse check button pressed, we will set an anchor X and an anchor Y onto the object. And we're just gonna pull those from the current position of the mouse, mouse X and mouse Y. Then we want the difference between the anchor and where the mouse currently is. So we'll call that the X delta in the case of the horizontal axis or the Y delta in the case of the vertical axis. That is the amount that we are going to shift our camera by. So we can use camera set view position. That's going to change that X, Y coordinate of our view. We can get the current X of the camera and then just subtract off that delta. Clean up a little bit. So to visualize exactly what's going to happen is this blue mark is where our anchor is set. So that's our anchor X and our anchor Y. If we imagine dragging the mouse to the right, it's gonna land over near the arrow. And then the difference between those two points is going to be our X delta. 
So if we subtract that x delta from the view, then it's going to shift the view to the left. And then if we do it the opposite direction, it's going to shift it to the right. And it looks good. It's exactly what we want. And also is working in the y direction as well. Now that handles our dragging, pretty straightforward. Now let's start thinking about what we're going to do with the zoom. So we know that we're going to use the scroll wheel. That feels the most natural. So as we scroll up, zoom in, scroll down, zoom out. We can use the mouse wheel up and mouse wheel down functions to figure out if the wheel is currently scrolling up or down. If you think about how this is going to work, if you make that view smaller, you're going to see less of the game. So it's going to look like you're zooming in. That's going to be our mouse wheel up. So essentially what we're doing here is just making the view smaller. So I'm going to take the current width and height and take 4% off of it. And then for down, I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to add 4% to it. And that's essentially the effect that we're going for. It's not perfect. It doesn't center in on the mouse. It's not ideal, but it, it works perfectly fine for this. Um, I'm, I'm plenty happy enough with it for now. One thing with the code though is we can pull out that zoom factor. Okay, one quick thing here. Um, I think the game looks a little better with a white background instead of the dark black background. So I'm gonna add a room start event to our display manager. And I'm gonna get the background layer using layer background to get ID and pass in the string background. If you pull up the room, you'll see in the layers that there is a background that has a color associated with it. By default, it's black, so we can update that. So the way that we go about updating it is we use this function background blend, and you pass in the background layer and you pass in white, C white. Reads a little bit better to me, I think. So we've got our two main features there. Not too bad to implement. Um, one thing that we did in the first part of the video is use these X scale and Y scale variables to control how big or small the tiles are. So I wanna actually clean those up. Now that we have a zoom function implemented, we don't need those anymore. Originally we were making them half as small. So essentially making it so that like we were zooming out. Let's bump those back to one, the default size for those tiles and you'll see everything gets blown back up. We can still zoom in and out, but the default state is a bit bigger. So remove all of those variables, clean it up. We have it a little bit zoomed in now by default. So I'm gonna hit control T and go back to the display manager. And instead of controlling the default zoom with that X scale, I'm just gonna do exactly what we did for the zoom. So when the room starts, I'm just gonna set the zoom factor. So I can make it whatever I'd like. So for example, let's look at what it might look at at 0 0.5. So remember, we're making the view half as small, so it's gonna look like we're zooming in in that case. So what we wanna actually do is make the view bigger. So let's do one and a half times, and we're back to kind of that default look. That looks great. I'm happy with that. Right back to where we were, and our zoom function still works. Now, this is not the only way to do this, though. So if we comment that out, we can hit Control T again and pull up our room, search for room one. And over in the left hand, you can go to viewports and cameras and viewport zero. And you'll see those attributes that I've been talking about. So the X, Y coordinate of the view and the width and height of the view. So we could also, instead of setting them programmatically, we could go in here and bump them to one and a half times and not have any additional code. So you'll see if we run that, it's gonna look exactly the same, just like if we were running that 
function in our code. So I'll just stick with that. I'm going to set it in the room in this case. doesn't matter too much one way or another. And clean up her room start event so that we're just dealing with the background white. That's it. Cool. I really hope these are helpful, especially if you are a beginner to early intermediate level game maker developer. I hope these get you a little bit closer to making the types of games you want to make. So please give feedback. Again, I'm going to keep rolling with the series and making up features as I go and see what happens. Feel free to throw out some comments on what you want to see. All right, that's it. Bye-bye.